the son of man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, Esaias. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 17 goes on and says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, somebody say Jesus, might be saved. Through him might be saved. To that individual who was thinking, but we're going back into the place of comfort and casualness because, oh my goodness, the storms are back to normal. You, you better be careful. You better be careful. I believe the science is a test. I'm going to say that again. I believe Hurricane Science is a test. Let me see if I bless these people with just cool breeze and light showers. Let me see how they will praise me and give thanks for my mercy and my grace. Glory to God. Because in truth, in truth, if God were like man, if you examine the way we have responded since Dorian, Isaiah should have been another Dorian. But thanks be to God. He's not like man. Glory to God. Thanks be to God. His grace far out exceeds our thanks be to God. He is merciful. He is loving. But hear me by the Spirit of God. I believe Isaiah's was a test. Will my people praise me? Glory to God. For my grace and my mercy. Will my people praise me? Because I've spared them. Will my people praise me? In spite of the fact that they have not been running to worship. In spite of the fact that they can't wait to go to the beach. In spite of the fact that they can't wait to have their parties. In spite of the fact that they really want to have a pride wash. In spite of the fact that they do all of these things besides longing for my presence. Let me see if my people would praise me for my grace and my mercy. Is Silas God is 